So, who's been here before at our conference? Let's <laughs> what con Wait, what conference were you at? The librarian's conference? No offense, Lynn. <laughs> Who's been here at an NA conference before? Okay. So you know, one of the things I've learned about the NA in the past few years is that it's full of surprises. Yes, right? I'm definitely not going to get in the way of that tradition tonight. As you will see from the next thing we have going on here. See, we have this recognition at the NNA called the Lifetime Achievement Award, which we give out every once in a while to someone who's not just won a battle or two in the fight to improve notorial standards and practices, but someone who's dedicated their professional life to it. A person who receives the Lifetime Achievement Award is someone who steers the ship, who leads, educates, mentors, and advocates for notaries every day. In this field, that is a rare breed. In fact, there are only two people who have been awarded the NNA's Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, in a surprise, tonight we're adding a third, because the time has come to recognize this very special person. Let's take a look at who we're honoring tonight. In 1969, a man joined the fledgling National Notary Association and unassumingly began a legacy of service and support for notaries that would span nearly five decades. With an accomplished background in journalism and public relations, Milt Valera hit the ground running and he never stopped. He initiated virtually all of the association's major programs, which now define notary service, support, and advocacy. Today, his leadership and resolve are synonymous with innovation. The fact of the matter is that every major achievement and accomplishment of the NNA over the past four and a half decades and every major development positively affecting the notary office over that time span was achieved on the initiative and the hands-on direction of Milt Valera. When he realized that notaries needed a social enterprise to advance their causes and advocate for positive change nationwide, he created an NA membership. When he realized notaries needed news and information to support their role in commerce, law, and society, he created the NNA publications. When many dismissed the need for notary education, he went the other way. He led the NNA to create the most comprehensive notary education program in the country and launched the NNA's notary hotline and initiated the country's first gathering of the nationwide notary community, our annual conferences. Under his leadership, the NNA crafted model legislation and rules of ethical conduct that are today the foundation of notary best practices. Without Milt's leadership, we would not have had those two model statutes. And in my opinion, those two model acts have been the most important developments in notary practice in the United States in our entire history. The importance of his vision to share the Model Act with state regulators, including myself, cannot be overstated. I hope when he looks out across this country, including at North Carolina, he feels a tremendous sense of accomplishment at what has been created today, a modern, strong set of notary regulations that assist interstate commerce, protect the public interest, and support this great nation's economic transaction. He formalized dialogue and programs with the international community to improve cross-border document exchanges and authentication. He spearheaded the development of a secure e-notarization system, which jump-started an era of trust in electronic document processes and recording. Milt's contributions to notaries and the public who use them will have a lasting impact on how properly to execute many types of personal and commercial transactions. 
Through his commitment and insight, many people have been insulated from fraud. His visionary view to develop rules and procedures for electronic documents ensure that this protection will carry on in the future. The March Fung Yu Achievement Award, the Notary of the Year Award, and the Coolidge Award were all inspired by his vision to recognize those who advance and personify the best of the notary office. In the late 90s, when notaries needed new entrepreneurial opportunities, he led the NNA to create the nation's most comprehensive notary signing agent education and support program. Amid his successes for notaries, Milt has also made it a point to lend his leadership and innovation to the foundations and organizations he holds most dear. For the past 17 years, California State University Northridge has been the beneficiary of Milt's passionate and visionary leadership and his work ethic as a volunteer. He chartered the Journalism Alumni Association, became its president, and served on the College Advisory Board. He became an Alumni Association lifetime member and made his mark as one of our Alumni Association's most impactful leaders. In 2005, he and Debbie began to turn much of their CSUN attention to helping us improve our outreach to prospective donors. Those efforts began in earnest after they established and endowed a scholarship of their own. In 2008, Milt was named chair of CSUN's President's Associates, and the following year, he was named to the CSUN Foundation Board of Directors. In 2011, we were pleased to present Milt with our Heights Award for Outstanding Volunteer Leadership. Today, the National Notary Association, with its headquarters in California, employs more than 170 staff members to advance his vision and to support notaries everywhere. Thank you, Mills. This team is now charged with optimizing and streamlining NNA programs to better serve and support notaries in a changing world, to better protect businesses, financial institutions, and our economy to better shield notaries from liability in the era of high-stakes transactions, and to better protect our nation's citizens from fraud, identity theft, and imposture. His passion for notaries is as strong today as it has ever been. Dorothy and I have known Milt for more than 30 years. He worked with me to host a training program for Vermont notaries when I was Secretary of State. I have participated in several NNA conferences. I promoted Why Coolidge Matters on a book tour with the President's great-grandson, and it's now a privilege to serve with Milt on the board of the Calvin Coolidge Memorial Foundation to preserve the legacy of our only chief executive sworn into office by a notary public. No one has been more committed to notaries, to their clients, and to the transparency they assure. No one is more generous to worthy causes with his time and resources. No one is more dedicated to our nation's history and to the effective and ethical operation of America's government and commerce. It's a real privilege to call Milt Valera my friend. On behalf of America's 4.4 million notaries, we celebrate a lifetime of achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the National Notary Association, Milt Valera. First of all, I just want everybody to know that we had to have Debbie take Milt to Africa for two weeks so we could plan this and get it done <laughs> without him nosing around, okay? <laughs> Second of all, it says here, Tom hands award to Milt, steps to the side of the stage. Acceptance remarks from Milt. So there you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. You had nothing prepared. But you know what? You can ne always never pass up a chance to address the troops. Oh, God. I, 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 have, I have nothing prepared. I, I am truly humbled. I, I have to tell you that Tom and I meet regularly. We, we meet in the gym almost every day at, what time do we meet? Six o'clock in the morning. And uh, we've known each other for 20 years just by meeting in the gym. And we've become that close. Uh, Tom's, Tom's my closest friend, along with Deanne and her family, their family. Uh, but this, this, is, this is truly a, a total surprise. When Tom announced tonight that we're going to have a, a, a Lifetime Achievement uh, Award, 
you know, I, I was totally surprised because Tom doesn't keep anything from me. I mean, we, we share everything. And now I'm listening to this and I'm saying, what is going on here? Uh, you know, <laughs> what in the world is going on? Well, um, let me say, first of all, thank you, Tom, because without Tom, um, the association would not be in this next level that, that it's approaching. Uh, I'm complimented a lot by people saying, oh, you don't look that old. I'm a lot older than you know. <laughs> uh, Tom is the ideal successor to this position. He knows what's going on. He has you as, as his inspiration. He has you as, as in his best interest. And uh, guess what? If you think that we've done good things over the past 50 years, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> All right. Um, let me say thank you to, to the person who's been my inspiration for certainly 20 years and beyond that, and that is uh, the Executive Vice President of the National Notary Association, Deborah Thaw. Now, now for, for those of you who are wondering, uh, that's her professional name. Uh, her, her real name is Deborah Valera. So Deborah, will you please stand up? She was in on this the whole way. <laughs> anyway, I, I could ramble here for the next half an hour. I love you all. I love notaries. I love the association. I love our staff. I love everybody who's involved in notaries. And it's been a major part of my life. And to see the comments from, from Michael and, 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 and Malcolm and, and Diane Harrison from my university, and, and it, it just... It just really means one hell of a lot. So, so thank you, all of you, and, and thank you, Tom. Thank you. All right. Thank you.